The Pacific Northwest can expect a snowy weekend with blizzard-like conditions and an estimated 6 to 12 inches of snow. That's before the system moves on to other parts of the country. Forecasts show it could create havoc from the Rockies to the Gulf Coast and eventually up to us here in the Northeast. For more, let's bring in CBS News meteorologist and climate specialist Jeff Berardelli. Jeff, with lots of extreme winter weather happening soon, what's the latest? It's about as extreme as I can remember in, in recent history. Polar vortex is sitting right on the Canadian-U.S. border. And take a look to the south. I mean, about two-thirds of the country right now covered in some type of winter weather alert, whether it be extreme cold near the Canadian border or snow alerts in, in parts of o Oklahoma and Texas, or ice will be the problem right here uh, in parts of the Tennessee Valley and the deep south is going to get ice as well. So we have a parade of storms, kind of an assembly line of storms making their way across the country right now. There are four. The jet stream is right about there. That's where the storm track is. And it's all rotating around the polar vortex. This is where the core of the cold air is. And so as long as this is here, it'll kind of uh, act as a catapult, kind of slingshotting storm after storm from coast to coast. There's so much cold air and there's also plenty of moisture available. Right now, the big storm and the one that's going to impact a lot of folks over the next few days is located in the Pacific Northwest, Seattle and Portland. Heavier stuff comes in overnight into Saturday morning. Look at all that heavy snow, Seattle, Portland. Seattle could see potentially uh, the biggest snow that they have seen since 1985. If they see more than seven, seven and a half inches of snow, that'll be the case. Foot of snow possible in Portland. We're going to see wind gusts, you know, over 40, 50 miles an hour. Blizzard conditions at times across that area. Storm moves across the Rockies and then look at where it is on Sunday morning. This is snow across almost all of Texas, Oklahoma, uh, into the Plain States, even Kansas City is getting snow. But south of that, this is really dangerous and treacherous. It will be ice clear down to the Gulf Coast. Corpus Christi, Houston, all across Louisiana, straight across the deep south, Jackson, Mississippi. And that ice continues right into New York City on Tuesday to the north of that's heavy snow in New England and heavy snow across the Ohio Valley. So this is what we're talking about snowfall totals here and Seattle will probably see around six to nine inches of snow but the mountains will see well over two feet and right over here uh, in the peninsula probably as much as 12 to 18 inches of snow. This is all solid ice. Look at this. I mean, this is going to be an inch of solid ice on the ground, so uh, it's going to be really treacherous travel. And then this is all snow. Oklahoma is going to see 9 to 12 inches, some places even more than that. Many parts of Texas, 3 to 6, 6 to 9 inches of snow. And then add to that just how cold it's going to be. 47 below will be the wind chill in Duluth, but no one's going to be spared from this. 14 below in Kansas City. Watch Dallas on Monday morning. Watch their wind chill down to negative six degrees, even as far south as Dallas. Three to 400 record cold temperatures are possible through midweek next week. So just stay inside is my advice. <laughs> Snuggle up with someone you love this weekend, I guess. All right, right, Jeff, thank you.